Hey guys, I am back again for another figure review or unboxing, depending on how you want to view this video. As you may read in the title and thumbnail, it is indeed the Indiana Jones figure from Temple of Doom. The more elusive Indiana Jones figure from the more common toy line for 2008, because you know, the 2011 Lost Wave is even more elusive, so I can't really count it as high as that pedestal. The fastest way for me to get this cut down is obviously taking my X-Acto knife over here. So, let's just cut over here. Oh, be careful with the camera. This one's not actually in box. You can see it from here. And I'll just cut through the side here. You might not see it perfectly because keeping a camera right then and there. Shoot. So you gotta be careful with this. There we go. That side is done. Other side. And we're done. All we have to do is just open it like the freaking Ark of the Covenant, except we don't want to go that far in that hell hole. Let's get a good look inside of here and see what is here, because it looks like there's something guarding it. Looks like something here. Let me get it out. Oh, that's just... Oh, well. Might use that for something. <laughs> Anyways, it's just bubble wrap, just like that previous figure I just unboxed. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. I have a card on the top. And here is that under here, and it looks like it is. One second. There we go. Wrapped it in like an additional bag of bubble wrap. So let's we'll just leave that up there. See if we can get this open somehow. Oh, I think I found it. It's like a tiny little gap here. It's wrapped in tape. Oh, wait, no, I was wrong. I just opened it up. <laughs> it's like, it's not wrapped in tape. Anyways, it's been wrapped in paper? This, this is paper. What is this? Freaking printed sheet. If it's printed sheet, it tell me my, thank me for my purchase, then I'll, I'll definitely be keeping it. Woo! -hoo -hoo, there it is. Let's just leave that figure on the side and see what the note says. Oh, wait, can't show the note. It reveals nothing but address. There's no thank you card on it. Nah, that's a waste. And uh, here he is, the Temple of Doom Indiana Jones, and I got him wrapped up in this pose when he was in the Temple of Doom on the bridge, threatening Mola Ram. This is about as best I'll go by his head sculpt, and I went over this before because I've previously owned the Temple of Doom Indiana Jones. I mean, I still got the head and use it for custom Indiana Jones figures, just head swapping. But now that I got the official one again this time, without losing the other body, this is friggin' awesome. I really do love the way the sculpt is on the figure. I also like the scratch details, you know, straight up from the film when he gets whipped. And that's a little bit of a hard to watch sequence. Anyway, and there's also the sweat detail on his shirt. His shirt's been completely ripped and this is a new sculpt. It's not just repacking the Crystal Skull uh, Rocket Launcher Indy. This is definitely a new sculpt. And it is cool looking to see and the way this arm looks here too. And the, the detail, that bandage on his hand right there. And then the holster is also looks really nice too. And the whip clasp, I just put the whip on there. And the same power stones are inside the uh, satchel that he carries with the little hatch. <laughs> which is nice. I'll go in a little bit more detail with that uh, thing. Basically, there are some new sculpts on this dang thing. This one has uh, a tear in his pants. I mean, the legs look like they're in the exact same sculpt. But it's just that the... Um, basically, just that new tear... It's uh, never been on the other figures before. So, yeah, this is a completely awesome looking figure. This is like one of the best Indiana Jones figures. People even mention that. It's literally one of the best due to the head sculpt, too, because it's literally one of the best aspects. And the fedora hat is nicely sculpted, too. This is like the best one. They love this one so much that Hasbro re-released this head sculpt for the uh, Lost Wave Indiana Jones, which is, again, elusive and expensive as hell. This is about how close I can get to the same color stones in there. There's only two sculpted in here. So basically the satchel is definitely a newer sculpt. And the flap does hang out. And it's not going to get removed or anything. So yeah, and I do like the way this is sculpted. So this is basically, he's got some stuff in the satchel bag instead of just a flat satchel uh, bag with nothing else in there. And the relic he comes with is his Eastern Island Tiki head. <laughs> or... Beast Ryan statue, whatever. It's a tiki head. We already know what the heck this is. So, it looks pretty nice. Even though it's small, but it looks pretty nice. It doesn't come with a box, but... Yeah, at least I got the sticker, but... 
All that matters is that he came with the artifact as well. I got this loose for 15. So right now I only got like five Indiana Jones figures. Well, I actually had six because the other one I gave to my little brother just to save up some more money. But then again, I got all these figures and there's so many other Indiana Jones figures out there. I just wanted to find the ones I think is the most appealing. So, yes, I had the Wickrack action Indy right there, and then my custom Cairo or Jackalus Indiana Jones right there with that Temple of Doom head, Temple of Doom Indy in the middle, Last Crusade Indy over there, and then Crystal Skull Indy with the removable hat, and all these figures are nice. What if I had to say which ones are the best ones? Well, if I had to go ahead and say it, I will definitely say there were three that I'd like out of the bunch, and that is my custom figure, Temple of Doom Indy, and Crystal Skull Indy. I like them all, but... These the, the Temple of Doom and Custom Indy and the Crystal Skull Indy are my favorites, <laughs> to be exact. I mean, I still love that figure, don't get me wrong, but then again, it's hindered by the uh, action feature in some degree. Alright, that's going to be it for this review of the Temple of Doom Indiana Jones figure from the Indiana Jones tour line, Wave 4. And I did find this on eBay for $15. Well, at least I bought it for 13 best offer, and then it went to a 15 and yes, I've been finding more and more of these being online, and it's kind of surprising because I thought there would never be a chance of me getting this one again. And yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will be seeing you guys later.